happy summer today 16th may 2024 let's look at this usml is step 2 ck step 2 ck quickly infectious medicine um when you look at this question um it looks quite easy uh, there's a video attached to it well looking at the video you can see there's a problem with the facial expression right so um which of the following clinical events most likely occurred in the man's recent past okay so this is a 50 53 year old man uh, who comes to the clinic because he has been unable to move the, the left and the right side of his face over the past four days one month ago he had a red rash with a central clearing on his right hip so this looks like what it looks like a bull's rash it looks like a bull's rash so that tells it all so findings on physical examination are shown in the video clip so when you look at this and uh, you'll see the video attached to it facial expression this is clearly the bell's policy so looking at this bell's policy uh, the answer here is gonna be option D a thick bite take notice Borrelia burgdorferi okay it's a spiral sheet it's a thick bite okay you can find that around um, anybody who likes um, traveling or hiking in the woods around Colorado or wherever you know uh, it's quite different from the Colorado tick fever but that's also a tick bite from Lyme disease Borrelia burgdorferi okay so this is not option A infection of the left uh, parotid gland is neither option B ischemic stroke no ischemic stroke of the parietal cortex no a very cellular infection okay so that is option d a thick bite so that's lyme disease uh it causes what bilateral bell's palsy uh so in the, initially it starts with what what we call the bull's rash erythematous rash with central clearing okay so this patient is exhibiting bell palsy characterized by transient unilateral facial nerve palsy or paralysis uh, as seen in the video okay i couldn't play the video here for y'all to see uh it is frequently idiopathic okay that means the symptoms develop acutely all right so take notice of this uh it is quite high yield this is step 2 ck but you can find it also in step one step three all right so it's quite different from the happy simplex or the happy zoster or otitis media okay or the Guillain-Barre syndrome so take notice of Borrelia burgdorferi spiral sheet Bell's palsy all right so looking at the other this so that is clearly the bull's rash okay bull's rash if you know what that is all right so infection of the left parotid gland of course that's not it okay so that is quite different okay most of it is going to be painful swelling of the gland accompanied with systematic symptoms and fever okay although uh, the seventh cranial nerve the facial nerve does pass through the parotid gland okay but it really causes that kind of inflammation option two ischemic stroke of the left frontal cortex that is quite different okay strokes involving uh cerebral hemisphere manifest with sensory or motor deficit so we, we can find also contralateral portions of the body having deficit or paralysis it's not just the face or the fascia uh, nerve paralysis okay and ischemic stroke uh, can also manifest with acute onset of cognitive and motor deficit that's also similar uh, control at our side of the body uh, that's quite different okay so think by varicella vcv that is a heavy zoster as we know it to be so take notice of that uh, and that is quite different from bell's palsy okay so take notice all right so this is a quick one usml step 2 ck take notice of this uh quite easy infectious medicine facial disease very classic bell palsy and um remember borrelia burgdorferi and the bull rash and fish facial nerve palsy or the bell palsy thank you for joining me my name is Dr. Kevin Obi-Manu. Goodbye.